Hey, what's up everyone? This is Adam with AMB Woodshop. In front of me, I have my rigid R4512 10 inch table saw. I picked this one up off of Craigslist, but this one is a common saw that I see a lot of other woodworkers have and that is sold at Home Depot. I made an upgrade during the week to this saw and I wanted to share with you what I did. Uh, I do have a disclaimer though, this does have to do with electrical. I recommend that no one touches electrical unless they are a certified electrician. Um, so let me share with you what I did. Okay, so over at the saw, um, here's the switch plate right here. I have the yellow tab out locking the saw and forcing it off. But out of the back you have a wire that would run over to your plug. So first thing I did is I extended the plug to be, wasn't the wire and the plug to be about 12 feet so it would reach my receptacle easier. And then I had to upgrade the receptacle. So this is a 15 amp 240 um, plug end. And then on the back of the saw, it's a little difficult to see because I have my outfeed table down. But if you take off that access panel, you can get to the motor. There's a plate over the motor with wiring directions on the back side of it. Uh, you have to move around a couple wires to convert the motor from 120 to 240. Okay, so down in my breaker panel, you can see right here I added the uh, 240 volt 15 amp breaker. Um, it's bridged across. Uh, one of the main differences, well, the main difference between 240 and 120 is 120 only has one hot, which would be like this one right here, and 240 has two hots. Okay, so here's the receptacle um, for 240, 15 amps. Uh, I ran 12 gauge wire to the breaker panel for this. Uh, in the future, I could always upgrade this to 20 amps um, with the gauge wiring that I have and the distance. It's only about uh, 40 to 50 feet to my breaker panel. All right, so I'm gonna fire up my saw here. And that was about it. I mean, this was a pretty easy job to convert this from 120 to 240. It was relatively inexpensive too. I had the wire, I already had a line that was half run. I just had to buy a receptacle, plug in a couple, a breaker, a couple other components. Uh, what I am noticing is I'm getting a very fast startup on my saw blade. Uh, and I'm also, when I'm sawing uh, maple, walnut, any of the thicker stock, uh, the blade's not bogging down at all. So it's really plowing through it. Um, I'm glad that I did this upgrade. Now I always do have a 240 line in my shop for a bandsaw or a joiner in the future. Um, so I can share that. If you guys like my video, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. Thanks for watching.